Hey guys, so this is going to be the third tips video and this is going to be about common issues that you've people have been commenting about on my videos and so this is to iron out any issues that people have had. So I've got three common issues that people, or maybe four common issues, that people have when they import my asset. Now I'm going to import the assets like you could from the website. So I'll literally go through what you might see as a problem and then hopefully that will sort it out. And sorry about, again, sorry about the delay but the survival next part of the survival series will be coming up soon so keep an eye out for that but this is just for everybody who's been having problems so this is a different unity scene completely different to my survival series one it's the one that you might see if you've just seen the general tutorials from me um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to just import all the assets that I've got that you can download from the website so what I usually do is just right click here and then I'll click show in explorer and then it'll show all your files that are in your project because all it is is made up of folders in a way so you can see that it's in my assets and you can see that they match up with all my files down here and I'm just gonna paste in the actual all the assets that we need for this episode so it's just gonna be the survival underscore island underscore assets that you can extract to wherever you want and you can just drag that straight into unity and then you want unity to finish off um, importing it I would say that this is probably not the best way of adding everything in because there's going to be duplicate scripts and the ones later down the line so if part 5 has the same um, script as part 6 you'll probably want to use part 6 script because it'll be more up to date but I just left all the scripts together so you'd understand so first of all when you import everything you'll notice that it'll now moan about as I said that there's multiple things with the same name so depending on which one you want to use you make the decision so I'm gonna get rid of the part 5 one and I'm gonna get rid of the crafting part in part 1 so we're gonna have the part 2 version so now all those issues are gone and now it's gonna complain as that the um, player GUI does not denote the type valid and also with things like that and I've had people you know complain about this issue before now if we click on it in the console to bring up where the error is looking at player GUI doesn't denote anything is because that player GUI what we're looking for is this one here which is in part 2 it's because it's named updated 16th of January uh, July so you guys knew when I was updating if you just delete that and name it player GUI it will absolutely be absolutely fine and then it'll say that sometimes that in the tree chopping there's a line where we're wanting to find can swing in the player control script now it's showing it's from this script because that's where the line of code has the problem but what we want to do in part 3 with the animations we have player control because that's what it's referencing so player control dot can swing so what we need to do is we double click on player control open that up in mod develop and once it's open if you haven't already done you need to make sure that can swing is public so you can delete that private and add public and then what we can do is we can save that out and go back into unity again and then the error should have gone now that'll sort out all the errors that we've got so far now a lot of people have been asking that the object to terrain um, script doesn't necessarily work for them now as I've said before that that isn't actually my script I got that from browsing on Google I've just got it and all you have to do is put it in your editor folder so I've got nothing up here which says terrain now if we go to the part one and we see object to terrain script all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it into my editor folder if you haven't already got one when you've imported assets it'll be there and you'll notice that it hasn't added anything now if I click up here It'll have, for me it's now added the object to terrain script icon for the top um, usage bar or the navigation bar for this so now as long as you've clicked up there it should add it up there and then you can use it however you want so really they're just the sort of four four things that I've noticed that throughout the comments people have been having issues with and if you do all those things that I said literally just um, renaming the script so it doesn't have a date on it having can swing making it a public variable and then object to terrain you need to make it in um, put it in Ned's folder and make sure that it appears at the top by clicking at the top here
So again, thanks very much for watching, and look out for the next survival series tutorial coming up very soon. Thanks again. Cheers.